Mechanic School is in. Alright, back to our slide carburetor. As I said before, we're going to talk about uh, fuel systems, fuel metering. Uh, that's our slide out of our variable Venturi slide carburetor. Now, unlike the fixed jury, Venturi carburetor, it uh, has a progressive roll on. In other words, when you accelerate, being attached to the piston, um, and this is not a constant velocity carburetor, by the way, uh, the uh, fuel metering um, has a progressive roll on because of the fact that there is a relatively constant velocity there, even though it does drop if you rapidly snap the throttle open. But even when you rapidly snap the throttle open, um, there is still a reasonable velocity to have a have a, a curve of mixture following. Um, the other thing is that these rely on a precision uh, needle, okay, to do a good deal of the metering of fuel mixtures as we go up. And if we nail the throttle, we get to the main jet. The main jet starts choking out, and by choking out, I'm not talking about rockets. I'm talking about the fact that uh, we start getting a higher vacuum on one side of the jet, which means the jet is now metering fuel. If the vacuum is, if the pressure is pretty equalised on both sides and it's only drawing out of the, the, the needle reserve, then uh, we can consider the main jet's actually not metering the fuel. There's plenty of, plenty of hole there just to meter the, the period that the uh, jet needle is operating for. And then that comes into play. We get up to speed. We uh, roll the throttle back a bit, and then we get back down to a mixture of our main jet and our needle. And I'll show you the progression between the two. Uh, so this is a, a needle in the centre of the slide. This one is actually down from the centre, but yeah, this, the clip is usually on the centre position. We have a, well, what's called a, a, a nozzle, a emulsifier tube. Um, it can be called a couple of names depending on the uh, carburetor manufacturer, but um, depending on um, which type it is also. Now, um, in general, the uh, mixture control for the needle is done by moving of the clip position. So if I was to move the clip position up, the needle would go further down into its, into its bore, okay? And so this is in a closed position. When it gets up, when, it, when this tapered section gets up into here, then, it begins to graduate, okay, and gradually increase, all right? So there's a period where this actually has to withdraw up the bore. I'm not sure if this is exactly the, the scale, this one, but um, there's a point where the needle has to draw up to the bore, which is taken you know, by our idle and transition, um, which is here, because this is the engine side, okay, on the D, all right? And that's the inlet side. There's our cutaway. As I explained before, with our cutaway, um, the higher the cutaway is, uh, the leaner the mixtures are, the lower the cutaway is, the richer the mixtures are. But that is only on early throttle positions. Once the needle starts lifting up, and the time, the, the, the position that the needle lifts up will be determined by the clip. So if the clip is right up, the needle will be all the way down, thus leaner. If the clip is at the bottom of the, of the needle, the needle will be higher, and it will be adjusted rich accordingly. Uh, uh, I'll cover another point on that. Um, when you're actually setting uh, the needle height, if you have to make an adjustment to the needle, and you end up with a bottom position or a top position um, for uh, your running in general to keep the uh, carburetor jetted properly, then what you should do is you should replace the needle with the one that is either higher or lower, depending on the position of the clip. So if you put the clip all the way up the bottom, all the way down the bottom, the needle is pulled all the way up the top. That means it's it needs to be richer than its standard position, centre position. Then you need a narrower needle because the narrower needle will allow more fuel through. So, so then what we can do is put the the slightly richer needle in there, and we can move our clip position back to centre. Okay. Now it's important to have the clip position at centre. Um, one one reason is is because if you have to tune either side of that um, for any changes that might occur, particularly if you're uh, racing um, and you have to make changes, it's easy enough to lift the uh, the clip up or down a slot or two.
to make your adjustment without having to actually go and replace a needle. I always have it in the centre position. Um, make the change you need to to get the jetting you need to, and then get another needle and put the clip back in the centre, and then tune again. You may have to raise it up one or down one. Um, if you're lucky, you've got it back on centre. So that's just a note on the uh, jet needle. The jet needle goes down into a tube. Okay, and this type of tube in a Makuni carburetor is a primary type tube, just a solid tube. Now, the, w the, the fuel comes up here, okay, to bypass the needle as the slide lifts up, and our air jet supplies air. So at this point above the nozzle, the fuel that is metered by the jet needle and the air mixes together and to the engine, okay. So here's a picture of a needle right, with the clips and the nozzle. And here's another picture of a nozzle as well. Now, I'm showing you this picture because I want you to have a look up the top there. You see there's a little, like a wall up there. If you'll note down here, like a wall, okay. Just remember that that has to go on the air side, on the air box or, or the atmosphere side, not the engine side, okay? What that's doing is that's actually stopping, that's that's walling off the off the slide there, okay? And actually as it lifts up and air goes air goes through it. Um, I'm taking a punt here, but I'm guessing that it actually uh, um, the lower, slower layer of air goes around the sides. And the faster air moves across the top, and uh, we get a bit of a turbulent stagnation point behind it, which helps um, mix. Um, might not be that exactly, but uh, just make sure it's in the right position. Normally, these nozzles uh, have a little uh, pin and a slot in them to make sure they go in the right way. But if it doesn't, just be right. Just be sure the right way it goes in the right way. Now there is a needle. A closer look at a needle. Okay, and these are. Uh, approximately throttle positions at where the needle will be um, you know um, moving up and down um, now you also got to be aware is that there's there's needles with multi tapers on them multi stage tapers on them okay um, other thing um, with the needles uh, oh, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, now this nozzle down the side okay there is other types of this and these have holes in them. And if you look closely, you can see little holes in the side of that one. Might be up there too. And there's some that don't have holes in them. Now the ones with holes in them are a bleed type. And the and the and the difference is is that the air comes in the air jet, comes into the chamber here, okay, on this side, and goes into the tube to mix with the fuel. So what comes up the top here is fuel and air already mixed, okay, and then it mixes with the air again, similar to our car carburetor I showed where we've got an air bleed coming in the top of the uh, Venturi next to the um, boost Venturi. And uh, thus the difference is, is that the primary type one, um, the fuel metering by the jet, by the, by the needle is only fuel. So the needle meters only fuel, whereas the one that allows air to bleed into the nozzle, the uh, jet needle meters air and fuel. Okay, so there's a little bit of a difference there about how they behave. So the solid ones tend to be in smaller engines, not uh, not really an issue. Um, now that's uh, setting your um, your needle um, and setting your needle tapers. And based off your needle clip position, which is giving you know, a tuning indication of which direction you're going. Um, we've already been over the situation with air jets v uh, fuel jets, okay, and what happens there. Um, so generally you'll see um, tuning charts for motorcycles. And they look something like this. And there we're getting down to the, to the basics of it is these charts actually indicate the range of throttle position 
and the degree of, of effect of that particular circuit on the mixtures through the range of, of throttle. Now this is not engine, this is throttle, okay? I might wrap it up for today. Mechanic, helped.